Oh, there's a crab there, look. Oh, wow. There, there, there. <laughs> and off we go. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. We're not ready to settle down before experiencing what the world has to offer. Life doesn't always offer second chances. Sometimes it is now or never. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. After a very windy welcome to Milos, with gusts of 42 knots, we had a well-earned night's rest and woke up early the next morning to sunny skies and calm glassy water. We're up early and we're off to Sarakiniko Beach. Um, it's been nicknamed Moon Beach. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over Instagram. Um, it was formed by volcanic rock um, and there's no signs of vegetation. It's just like pure crystal white, nice turquoise water. Um, and we actually just found out there's a shipwreck there as well. So we'll try and find that and have a little snorkel. Yeah. Check it out. Welcome to the moon. Moon rock, baby. Moon rock? Is that what you're gonna call it? Very slowly. Isn't that like, the, that's off that movie. Yeah, no. The moon rock. But this is the real moon rock. Yeah. Look how clear the water is, it's insane. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a crab there, look. Oh, wow. There, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that scary? It's making my fingers ache. <laughs> Can I interest you in my cheese board selection? <laughs> what have you got? There you go. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> This shipwreck belongs to the tanker Africa, which crashed into the rocks during a storm in 2003. The wreck pieces seem to go on forever, this thing must have been huge. We could see the anchor chain laid out where they obviously tried to save the boat from smashing into the rocks. We're beginning to understand why there's so many shipwrecks dotted around Greece after experiencing some pretty unsettled weather, and it's not even winter.
we haven't really got to explore the town yet, so we're gonna go for a squiz, check it out, get some groceries, get rid of some rubbish, and go for a bloody scooter. Shit, yeah. And we're off. Oh, off to the races. That's how we do our shopping. Um, what was it, 3k away? Yeah, 11. It's gonna be a fun ride down the hill. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> and not stack it. We finished our groceries and went to the famous sunset spot before exploring Milos town. You look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I can tell you to put your brake on. <laughs> yeah, we got it. And off we go. Again. Again, we're going again. We've been stuck here for so long. No, we're just off again. We've been stuck here for a whole day. Too long for Jason. Way too long. Bye bye, Milos. Yes, we just left, left Milos over there. This is Timolos. Paros is in the background over there and Sifnos. This is how close they all are together. So it won't take us long to get to places, that's for sure. And I come meet you every night and every chance I get you're still there. What? It's cold. Yeah, it's a lot harder when you can't jump off the boat in there, hey? Straight in. <laughs> Don't have any time to think about it. This is living. Yeah. Look at this, you can just come to the beach. Have a little relax. There's a beach bar down there. And you can just pick a book to read. <laughs> oh, 
No, 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 no. <laughs> so, we don't know what's happened. <laughs> we don't know what's happened, but we've gone into our bedroom and our bed was soaked. And all I can think of was when we were sailing along, there was a lot of water splashing up the top of the boat. So, it was either through a tiny crack in the window or we have a leak somewhere. Woo! This is the fun side of boat life and the things that happen. Your bed gets wet and it's not from pee. Isn't it? No. <laughs> oh. I don't think I can get enough of these sunsets. They're just amazing. Being out in the water with hardly anyone else around and just surrounded by these beautiful islands and a beautiful sunset. <laughs> and Janine. <laughs> Get off your phone and appreciate it. I don't feel well. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Sipnos. Arriving at dusk. in our little anchorage in Sipnos. Some cute little hotels and tavernas lining the anchorage. I think I read that Sipnos is a bit of a foodie island so I have to go out for dinner. Not tonight. I'm making burrito bowls. You excited for burrito bowls? You got me. Babe, I'm literally like it's Ready it's, to go? Yeah. Okay. Let's have the cook the chicken and the couscous. Put I'll, it back. I'll put it back. <laughs> How far away is it? Not long. Like really quick. Like 15 minutes. Oh yeah. No, you won't be hungry. If there's heaps, honestly. Look. Like that's all the stuff, and then we've got couscous and chicken and cheese and sour cream. That's a big bowl for us. We're gonna have leftovers tomorrow, that's for sure. And we have a burrito bowl. Yummy. We are motoring currently to Anti Paros, which is about, I don't know, four hours away. How many nautical miles? Well, what do we do? Six nautical miles. An hour on average. Every a nautical mile every 10 minutes, so 6 nautical miles an hour. An hour, yeah. so 6, 12, 8, and 24. About 24 miles. nautical miles. 20 to 24? Yeah. Which, if you consider we're driving a car, it's a lot slower. <laughs> a lot more slower. <laughs> but much more enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> when it's a nice day, anyway. Oh! Did you not, did you not get your tomato off there? Nah. That's built. I know, I just thought I just thought <laughs> Jason was eating his cheese on toast, tomato and cheese on toast, the other day, and I don't even know why. Oh, he must have dropped it on the floor. So he went to throw it off the back of the boat and it just slapped straight onto the tender. And he's left it there to dry up, lovely. It looks like the wind's gonna be right behind us. Light wind, it's not so great, is it? 
manage until we get to somewhere where we can get it fixed. Fingers crossed. Mm, delicious. It's like baked on. That's now Jason's lunch today. That's all he's getting. <laughs> I'll make something else. <laughs> not until you clean it off. Yeah, not cleaning it. <laughs> Six to seven knots. Having fun? <laughs> Scared of the waves? Oh! Oh! I've ever seen you do. I know, it's like a meter. <laughs> what do you think of this beast that we so hard? Really weird, it looks like it's a Very flat, it's probably the sexiest, ugliest beast I've seen. Once we arrived at our anchorage for the night, we decided to make a cocktail and go and check out this cool monument close by for the sunset.
got the donkey some better looking grass than what was in his paddock, but he wasn't very interested. Probably because I scared him off when he accidentally bit my finger and I squealed. But soon after, we made friends again and he was very interested in my pina colada, so I ended up giving in. I know, naughty, but we didn't give him much, mostly foam. He was the most adorable donkey ever, and I asked Jason if we could take him on the boat, and he said no. We need Noah's Ark, the amount of animals we've wanted to adopt so far. If you to our first milestone, which is 500 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Janae will, would be with me right now, but it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and I'm doing this because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below of our videos, and please like it too. Cheers. <laughs>